welcome to my channel. <laughs> How are you? Mm. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Okay, technically, yeah. I'm not shooting on Valentine's Day, but on the day that I will upload this video will be Valentine's Day. So, correct. Happy Valentine's Day! I wanted to do like a general video about love and stuff, <clears throat> but I realized that the people of the world, they will come after me. <laughs> you know, many of them are very single. So, if I now come and say I want to give ideas and give coaching tips, they can, you understand? You used to shook me in the body and things like that. You used to pinch me. You get. So I said, let me just stay on my lane. Remember that in the last video I did. If you have not watched the last video, I will put the link down below to the last video so you can just click on it and watch it. Okay. So the last video I did, I said it that you should stay on your lane. Meaning, don't swerve. You get. Focus. Place your focus. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to place my focus on what I know best right now. And what I know best right now is being single. <laughs> Alright. Dear single person. Yes. So I wanted to talk about uh, understanding your singleness or something like that. But they say that no. That I should not make it a permanent fixture <laughs> for some people. So it's dear single person. Okay, so the first one is um, know yourself. And you know how people usually say, oh, before you can love other people, you have to love yourself first. This is also very important. Know yourself. You have to know yourself before you know another person. And in knowing yourself, I'm talking about temperament and talking about your love language. You can ask your close friends. If you are looking, if you are thinking about it that, oh, um, I'm not really sure things that I like. Think, I'm not really sure of my person. Let, you can ask somebody who is very close to you and who you are sure is not going to sugarcoat it. You know some people, when you ask them, guys, they will come and tell you all the great, great things about you. You need somebody to tell you the not so great things about you. Yeah, so find somebody who is willing to tell you the truth and make sure that you are ready to take it because it's one thing to want, to, um, want somebody to tell you the truth but it's also one thing to be ready to take whatever truth the person wants to give to you because you won't like it single person the second thing that you need to do is go for your time if you're a guy go for your time if you're a lady go for your time i mean i mean i mean stop you have to stop going for the people that are not your type and then trying to change them to be your type so i saw on twitter was it was this week Sha, about a guy who was complaining of 20 that's younger girls, so 20, I'm sorry, it's not that I'm that old though, when I say younger, I'm old, but it's not that I'm that old, and that's what I would try to say is, it was like, it was complaining about ladies who were 25 and below, and saying how it was such a pain to be in a relationship with them, how they're so childish, how they're so, oh God, leave it, leave them, go, if you are 27, Go for your age bracket. Go for people who you are comfortable with. Go for people who, in your whatever, don't stress you out. Go for people who you understand. Go for the age bracket that you understand. Don't go for age bracket that you don't understand. And then start to complain about them. No. If you're a guy who's in your 30s and you like um, to date ladies who are younger than you, then have a particular age bracket and go for them. Please, as long as they are hard or two, please so hard dotish. Uh huh. Thanks. Just so that you say that you say I say that you should go for the people in your bracket that you like. Hey, don't do that. Stop. Go for your type in size. Please, if you like short people, shut up, my guy. Okay, so if you like short people, go for short people. If you like tall people, go for tall people. If you like medium, I don't know, height, go for that. Go for exactly your type. If you, in, 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 
body size if you like um slim uh people go for slim people yeah if you like plus size whether male or female go for plus size people. don't be stressing some of us i need to say this don't don't stress me don't stress me see i'm doing the best i can do you understand i'm losing weight and gaining it back it's not i'm not straight you understand i've lost it but somehow it's a miracle i'm getting it back i'm not eating more than i do eat so don't come and stress me but you don't find me finish you're not using scope but oh, you want sort of see me you understand you're not using scope to shook me in my weight aspect don't stress me if you don't like it see there are people who are slim from bed they don't add they will hit everything they will not add go for those type of people don't stress they will not stress you mm -hmm. i'm just pouring it out there so also in type go for the skin tone that you like if you like dark ladies go for dark ladies if you like fair ladies go for fair ladies don't go for fair lady and then your eye will be entering dark uh, 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 somebody don't do that and ladies you have to stop it every time that you think about a guy you're thinking about dark hot chocolate you know and then you don't go for your dark hot chocolate. What is wrong with you? Why are you stepping down your kind of chocolate? Okay? If okay. So the third one is don't expect perfect. And sometimes I'm in this box. Yeah, so I'm on this table that I'm talking about. Don't expect people to be perfect because you're not perfect. No matter how good you are, you still have flaws. So expect that from other people too. Expect that they have flaws of their own. You didn't live in the same house. You didn't grow up in the same environment. You weren't raised by the same parents. So there are certain things that you have that they don't have. It's also applicable to them. There are certain things that they have that you don't have. Just because of things like where you went to school. The things that you will do, the person will be like, what are you doing? And then there are some things, the other person will do, you'll be like, kill on, kill on, share, but what is it? Kill on, share. Oh, they are, oh, they put your body down. You get so you have to know that not everyone is perfect and neither are you. So take people as they are. Of course, in taking people as they are, you have your as you are, you have your negotiables and your non negotiables. Okay, the things that you cannot move on, we move. Okay, so the first thing is date someone with good character, and I cannot overemphasize this enough make sure the person who you like who you want to date who you are eyeing who you are cutting eye for who you are crushing on has good character good character ah is important to like somebody that you can trust that does not steal ah, sorry you will not understand how important it is until you date somebody that you go and visit and the way you are going back home, you know that is seven thousand naira to put in your post because you still have the receipt from the automated teller machine that they, they give you, and you don't touch it. You not go and visit the person. You are not leaving. You are realize, but the money don't complete. Two thousand to follow. You now say, should I ask? To my ask, that means I'm saying the person is a thief. But if I don't ask, does that mean that I'm allowing the person to steal my money? Only you in the bus. You will not be having conversation with yourself. Abi, Abi is not 7,000. Abi, I didn't count it away. Abi, the machine didn't give me a proper amount. Abi, I buy something I didn't know that. <laughs> Find somebody that is trustworthy. That don't steal your money. <laughs> the fifth and final one is, it is not weird to talk to God about it. It's not weird at all. I know that sometimes, for me sometimes, or back in the day, uh, when I'm thinking about it, I'm like, you know, it says that I can talk to God about it. It's not a relationship that I'm talking to God about. But now that I look at it, if I talk to God about it, you saw all these calamities that befell me in the form of human beings. <laughs> they will not have befallen me. I'm not saying I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a perfect person. Please don't get me wrong. Of course, I, I, I do have my own exercises as a person. Yeah. But half of the time, it was not my fault. Okay, apart from that time, where oh, I just said that I was not doing any more. Okay, maybe I'm going to come down. No, 
anyway so maybe if i talk to god about it just had conversations with god and talk to him about it i probably will not be here so it's not where to talk to god about it. it's not where to talk to god about somebody that you like or somebody that you're crushing on then that i learned recently in church on sunday let me know how god is in, is is so important is an important factor in dating relationships yes even in dating relationship because of course i want to imagine that you're not dating the person just for the sake of dating the person you're dating the person with a future in mind so meaning that it's okay for god to be in that decision making process of yours and to be honest human beings can be very so uh, can't talk to god so it's not weird at all to have god conversations with god about who you're liking who you're crushing who you want to date and all that okay yeah it's not weird at all you should have one okay so yes that's it today on the show uh, if you haven't subscribed i didn't say that in the beginning if you haven't subscribed please do so click the subscribe button right there and then like this video if what i said made any sense to you if you did please also share it just copy the link and post it and help share to all your friends and all your contacts yes have a very fantastic valentine's day guys bye